Hello to all. I am Dr. Alkesh Agarwal, and in this uh, lab session three on Scilab S course, we will design and uh, simulate a full adder combinational circuit by Scilab X course. So before uh, starting the design and simulation, we'll uh, just uh, in brief discuss what is a full adder circuit. So a full adder comprises of two half adders. So in the previous lab session, I uh, taught you how to design and simulate a half adder. So here you can see this is first half adder, this is second half adder. So a, a half adder takes two inputs and generates two outputs. Similarly, so this half adder takes two inputs, generates one out, uh, these two outputs. It's another half adder that takes two inputs and generates two outputs. So, but in a full adder, it has a provision of three inputs at a time. With a combination of two half adders, we design a full adder. So it has a provision of three inputs. So this is uh, input A, input B, and this is the input which is being carried forwarded from the previous stage as carry input and finally we get of output as sum which is exclusive odd values of three inputs a b c in and we have a carry output which is uh, carry from first stage which is a and b and carry from or the carry from the second stage which is which is a exclusive or b and c in odd the both carry outputs as the final output as a exclusive or b and c in or a and b so we will now design this uh, full adder circuit with scilab x cause so let us design so i have opened this uh, Scilab again to launch uh, X cos. We'll just write X C O S and enter. So you see the two windows are being popped up. So in the previous lectures, I have already uh, discussed in detail. This is this window consists of pallets, which in turn consists of different blocks, and this is the working space where we. A design and simulate a full adder so first we'll uh, so we have to design two half adders for for this we'll take this uh, inputs as constant m so we are taking three blocks because we want to give three inputs so these are inputs a b and c in then we need a uh, you know this logic output so for first we need uh, this and we again need uh, two more blocks for second half header and one more Th that will be an output final output then uh, so th these blocks are for first half header. These blocks are for second half header. This is the final. This block is for final carry. Then we need uh, to show the results. We want. We need a oscilloscope and uh, in from sync palette. So we take this from sync palette. Then we move on. We just click on source and take a clock. So now, now we begin our design. So first we have designed first half header. So this should be converted into X uh, exclusive or so we just zero. We write four over here because for exclusive or it should be four. So we placed it four again. We click on this block. Uh, we just replace the zero by four. We, okay this is converted to or this is this should be and this is, this is what is needed this has to be converted to or so for or it should be one so now it is converted into one now we'll start simulating so we just connected this output with this input 
and uh, this output with this input and uh, then so this output is also connected to this input and this to be connected so now exclusive or gate is connected with input a and input b and and gate is also connected to input a and input b now what we have to do now we have to make the connections with this so this output is to be connected with this so one output is connected this and the same output has to be connected with and now one uh, one input of this and one input of this is left so now we have this another input so it has to be converted with both so we connected with this as well as we will also connect with this now this is carry of first half header this is carry of another half header so uh, this output is connected to this input or and this output has all to be connected with this so this is final sum and this is final carry so these inputs are to be connected with this so output of exclusive or is connected to input of CRO and this output is connected with this input of CRO and this is connected with this now we have to configure it so uh, minimum value is 1 and 1 so the minimum value should be 0 and 0 and this should be 1 and 1 so we'll ok and this has to be configured as period installation time is 0 so this is ok now our uh, whole circuit is ready and now we'll select uh, this whole circuit and uh, we just uh, come to format line style and optimize so you see this all the connections are being optimized and now you can see it is it, it is much more clear to see all the connections so this is first uh, this is uh, one half header this is another half header and this is this is final sum this is final carry so first output will give you sum and second output will give you carry so you just see when one plus one plus one will generate sum one as well as carry one so now I'll sim simulate it. So here you see simulation is in progress. And you see the output. So these outputs are uh, what is what are desired. So this is sum. You just click over here. You just this is sum. And this is carry. So you can see uh, when when 1 plus 1 plus 1 are added what you get is sum as 1 and carry is 1 so this is what is required so we see that this circuit is uh, functioning very well which is a full adder circuit and we very easily designed it in scilab x cos uh, in a very uh, you know very very quickly so this is the benefit and uh, you can practice by yourself you can take another example uh, by yourself so if you take uh, suppose you take another uh, case where carry input is uh, 0 so now you have to add 1 plus 1 plus 0 in this case sum should be 0 and uh, carry should be uh, 1 so now again you simulate simulation is in progress and now you see the results now what you get is sum is 0 and carry is 1 so again the, we get the desired results we show that this circuit is uh, working very well so thank you